entrance antiphon, give peace, O Lord, to those who wait for you, that your prophets be found true. Hear the prayers of your servant and of your people of Israel. Good morning. The Mass this morning is said for Stephen F. Stump. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, in giving this instruction, I do not praise the fact that your meetings are doing more harm than good. First of all, I hear that when you meet as a church, there are divisions among you, and to a degree, I believe it. There have to be factions among you, in order that also those who are approved among you may become known. When you meet in one place then, is it not to eat the Lord's Supper? For in eating, each one goes ahead with his own supper, and one goes hungry while another gets drunk. Do you not have houses in which you can eat and drink? Or do you show contempt for the church of God and make those who have nothing feel ashamed? What can I say to you? Shall I praise you? In this matter, I do not praise you. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the cup, after saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. The word of the Lord. The response to our song, proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes again. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your will, O my God, is my delight and your law is within my heart. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know.
May all who seek you exalt and be glad in you. And may those who love your salvation say ever, the Lord be glorified. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus had finished all his words to the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion there had a slave who was ill and about to die, and he was valuable to him. When he heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and save the life of his slave. They approached Jesus and strongly urged him to come, saying, He deserves to have you do this for him, for he loves our nation, and he built the synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them. But when he was only a short distance from the house, the centurion sent friends to tell him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Therefore, I did not consider myself worthy to come to you, but say the word and let my servant be healed. For I too am a person subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come here, and he comes, and to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him, and turning, said to the crowd following him, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. When the messengers returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, last year for my birthday, uh, I thought it was just my mom and dad coming to have dinner, but they surprised me and brought uh, my sister, my brother, a brother-in-law, nieces, uh, nephew, and we had the whole crew. So it was a big group. We went to a restaurant that was relatively crowded. Uh, so it took a little while to get the food. And once it finally came, um, uh, my niece didn't get her food, so we're all do the polite thing, you know, we'll wait. She says, no, go ahead and eat, go ahead. So we started, and, and everyone's sharing with her, you know, have a little bit of this, because we're all hungry, right, because it took a little while. Um, we were attentive to her needs at table. We realized that she was without, we wanted to share with her until her food came. This is not what these early Christians were doing, what St. Paul is chastising them for today. They were not being attentive to the needs of their brothers and sisters at table. Initially, the early Christians had a practice of joining the celebration of the Eucharist with a fraternal meal, or meal of charity and unity. And it began that way, but it soon uh, quickly devolved into a meal where those who brought food would um, stay in small groups, and those who had food would be in other groups, some would bring too much and eat and drink too much. Others would go without. Uh, they weren't sharing as one unified community. And St. Paul chastises them for this. And he immediately follows in his letter with a stark contrast that this shows to the Eucharist. He reminds them that Jesus gave his body and blood for everyone, for each one of them. How the Eucharist is a sign, not only a sign, but a source, the very life-giving source of unity and charity in our lives. So when we fail to allow the Eucharist um, to affect our lives in that way, to bring us together, to move us to love for our neighbor, love for our family, then we're failing to recognize what the Eucharist is. And we can all fall into this, this error, but as we start our new week, as we begin on this Monday, and when we come to Mass, 
in our routine of receiving our Lord in the Eucharist. Hopefully, the Eucharist can be for us a source of unity and charity, uh, to be attentive to the needs of our brothers and sisters, of our family members, of those we meet in, in the street, um, not only to feed the sick, I mean, feed the hungry and care for the sick, literally, attentive to their physical needs, but also attentive to their spiritual needs, and the spiritual needs of those we love who are close to us, uh, to be up, pulled out of ourselves, to uh, be broken out of our everyday routine, uh, to allow the Eucharist, our celebration of the body and blood of Christ, to be a source of unity and charity in our lives, so we can bring that forth into the world. as one body in Christ, we offer the following prayers and petitions. For Pope Francis and all who serve the church, may the Lord strengthen them in their mission of bringing the light of Christ to a weary world. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in positions of authority, May God inspire them to live righteously, leading all people in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For the homeless and all who lack stable housing, may God provide them safe shelter. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces, wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For protection from storms during this hurricane season and through the intercession of Our Lady of Prom Succor, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord God, you have given us your Son for the Eucharist, offer your body and blood for us. May this celebration be a source of unity and charity in our lives and in the lives of others. We ask you to hear and answer our prayers according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. Will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. Through the vine, the work of human hands will become our spiritual strength. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. supplication, O Lord, and in your kindness, accept these your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we pray. Holy, Lord, Lord, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving you thanks that you have found us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, Cherie, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. 
Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace in you, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Communion Antidon, how precious is your mercy, O oh God. The children of men seek shelter in the shadow of your wings.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift of the Lord be prayed. Take possession of our minds and bodies, so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the Mass is ended. Thank you, God. Saint Michael, we are the Amen. Amen. Amen.